four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back to part two of the Valentine Top. So once you have those two bra cups attached, you'll want to measure around your rib cage. So for me, that's gonna be 28 inches. And then once you have that, you want to subtract six inches from it. So my measurement will be 22 inches. And what we're gonna do now is start the body portion of our top. So keep that 22 or whatever your measurement was in your head. So we are gonna start with a foundation chain. So make your slip knot and pop your hook on there. So for our foundation chain, it needs to be in multiples of three plus one at the end. So mine is going to be a total of 112 chains, which would be 111 plus one. And you wanna make sure that your foundation chain stretches to your measurement. So mine will stretch to 22 inches. So again, multiples of three plus one at the end. So I will see you back once I am done chaining. Okay, so I have just finished chaining up my 112. So the multiple of three was 111 plus one, which makes it 112. So now for row one, we'll be doing single crochets all the way down. And to start, we will go into that second chain from the hook and create our first single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then with two loops on your hook, you'll wanna yarn over, pull through both. And we're just gonna continue single crocheting all the way down, just one single crochet in each chain. So once I am done with that, I will come and meet you back at the end. Okay, so we've just finished that first row of single crochets, and now what we are going to do is chain up one, and row number two will also be a row of single crochets. So we'll flip our work, and chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll go into that very first stitch with our first single crochet. And we are just going to continue doing this all the way down as well, just one single crochet on top of each stitch. So I will meet you back at the last stitch and I'll show you how we're going to change colors. All right, so we're at the very end of row two and we're getting ready to change our colors. So we're going to start that single crochet in the very last stitch and we'll pull through and then we'll leave those two loops on our hook. So then we'll grab our green yarn and pull that through those two loops to finish up the stitch. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut the white yarn. Right, and then I will take the tail ends right here and put them, or I'm sorry, bring them up and over the top of the stitches. All right, then we will chain up three. So one, two, and three, and then flip our work. And that chain three is gonna count as our first stitch. So we are going to go into the next stitch right here and then we will make our first V stitch. Okay, right there you can see. I will right, we'll put the tails back on top to weave them in. And remember V-stitch, so we will yarn over, insert into that second stitch, and make our first double crochet. Okay, chain one, and then make one more double crochet in that same spot. Okay, so then we're gonna skip two stitches and go into the third stitch right here with another V-stitch. So one double crochet, chain up one, and one more double crochet into that same stitch. And we will continue doing this all the way down. So skip two, go into the third stitch with the V-stitch, and so on. I'm gonna finish this up and I will meet you back at the end. 
Okay, we are at the very end of row three and we have, let's see, we have four stitches left. So we will skip the next two stitches and go into the third with the V stitch like we've been doing. And now we're at the very end, so we'll just place one double crochet in that last stitch, but we will not complete it because we're gonna be changing our color again. Okay, so we'll leave the last two loops on the hook, then you're gonna to wanna to grab your pink yarn and pull through those last two stitches to finish it up. Ooh, okay, maybe. There we go. All right, we are going to grab our scissors and then cut the green yarn. Okay, place your hook back in there. Oops. And then we'll pull the tails up and over like we've been doing. Okay, chain up three. And then we'll flip our work. All right, and now we're gonna be doing those cluster stitches again on the middle of those chain ones, the middle of the V stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, then yarn over, insert back into the chain one, pull through the first two, and you'll have three loops on your hook, so you'll do that one more time. All right, then we have four loops on your hook, so we'll yarn over, pull through all four, then chain up two. And then we're gonna do the same thing in this next chain one space. And we'll do that again, same exact cluster stitch, yarn over, pull through. One, two, and three. So it'll just be like the bra cut pattern we did before this. Oops, let's try to fix that. There we go, we'll pull through all four. And we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down. So I will meet you once I am back at the end and we will finish up this first tulip pattern. All right, so let's go into that last V stitch in that chain one space right there with our last little cluster stitch. All right, and now we're going to make one more double crochet into that very last chain three space. But of course, we're not going to finish it because we are going to be changing colors yet again. So we'll leave those two loops on the hook and we're gonna grab our white yarn. Okay, and pull through those last two loops on your hook to finish up the stitch. All right, then grab your scissors and cut the pink yarn. All right. So we're gonna pull the tails over the top. And then chain up one. All right, we are gonna flip our work. And now we are just going to be making a row of single crochets. So we'll make our first single crochet in that very first stitch right there. And our next single crochet will go on the very top of this cluster stitch right here. All right, and we will be making two single crochets in each chain two space. So one, and two, and then we will make it another one on top of the cluster right here, so you can kind of see the stitch. And then two in each chain two space. So one and two. And we're gonna continue doing this all the way down with one on top of the cluster and two in the chain two spaces. So I will meet you at the end of this row. All right, back at the end again. So we will do one more single crochet on the top of this cluster and then one more on the top of this chain three. There we go. 
Okay, and now we're just gonna do one more row of single crochets for this portion. So I'll chain up one, we'll flip our work, and then we'll put our first single crochet in the very first stitch, because of course, chain one does not count as a stitch. And we will continue to single crochet in every stitch all the way down. Okay, so we have now finished one section of tulips. So I'm going to be doing two rows of this, but you can make this however long or short you want. You could even do it with just this one row and make it a little bralette. So the only thing we're going to be doing now is repeating rows three through six. And that's going to start at the green little stems and go up to include the two rows of white single crochets. So the next thing that we would do is grab our green yarn and change the color and then start the stems by chaining up three, flipping our work, and then creating our V stitches all the way down again. So you're just going to keep repeating this until you are happy with the length. I'm going to finish mine up and I will meet you guys back once I'm done. Alright, now we should be finished with the body portion. Again, yours doesn't have to be just two rows, but that is how I'm going to be doing mine. And I'm gonna end up weaving these little bits into the actual top because they're sticking out, but let's just not worry about that right now. So now we're gonna be making a border around the outside edges, and we're gonna be doing half double crochets for that, which means we're going to chain up two. And this is the only time that our chain two will count as a stitch. So we're gonna go right into this next single crochet stitch right here with a half double crochet. Okay, so one in there and we will make two half double crochet stitches in each of the double crochet spaces and one half double crochet in each of the single crochet spaces and we'll continue that all the way down okay so this one we would, we would do two half double crochets that's one and two okay again two more right here one and two and we get to the single crochet so that means one in each okay get that last one right there all right and this is what the little sides are going to look like this is actually going to be the inside right here and this will be the outside all right, so we're going to chain up one, grab our scissors, and cut. Okay, then we will just pull through. All right, and for the other side, we want to make it on this same inside portion, which means we will make our little knot on the opposite end of the body piece right here. Okay, so I'll just stick my hook in there so we can grab the yarn and pull it through. Okay, and then just make a knot. All right, so after we make that knot, just insert your hook back into the very same stitch. And then grab your working yarn and pull through. Okay, there we go, pull through, and then chain up two. Okay, and we're just gonna do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side. So once you're done with this side, just come on back and I will show you how to attach the cups to the body. All right, so you should now be done with the bra cups and the body portion. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that both pieces have the inside facing out. So the single crochet row on the inside is gonna look like this versus the outside, which looks like this, just a little bit neater. Okay, and the body piece is also facing the same way. So that's the inside and that is the outside. All right, so we're just gonna need to know a few measurements first. Let's grab my little book as always. And what you're gonna wanna do is first count these stitches on the bottom border of both of your bra cups. All right, and then you are gonna wanna add one in the middle to account for that part. So count all the stitches all the way along here and that will be the measurement A, so mine was 74 for example. 
And then you want to count the number of stitches you have on the top row of your body piece, which is this one right here. And for me, I got 115, which is a little bit different from the first row, but that's going to be our measurement B. So then you will subtract A from B. So 115 minus 74, which equals 41 stitches that will need to be accounted for on both sides. And that's going to be our measurement C. So we want to then divide our measurement C by 2. So 41 divided by 2 is going to be 20.5. And that's going to be the number of stitches left on either side of our bra cuffs. So that means we will start on the 21st stitch right here. And I've already marked it. And you really only need to mark the right hand side of your body piece. So what we're going to do now is start attaching. So I will remove the stitch marker. And insert my hook right back into that same stitch. All right, then you're going to take your bra cup and place your hook through the corner just like that. All right, now we will grab our white yarn if I can find the end of it. Okay, okay, there we go. And what we're going to do is pull our yarn through both of those stitches right there. All right, and then we are going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to place my hook back in there through both of those stitches. And now what I'm going to do is start slip stitching all the way down. So first we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those stitches and then we will chain up one. All right, then we're going to start by going to that very next stitch right here. So insert into that stitch and then find the corresponding stitch on the bra cup. All right, and to do a slip stitch, we'll yarn over, pull through both stitches and also through the loop on your hook. All right, and we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down. All right, find that back one. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna finish doing this bra cup, but once I get to the center, I will show you how we are going to end up connecting that part. All right, so we reached the center. So let's real quickly move all of these tails out of the way. And what we're going to do now is go into that next stitch right there. Okay, insert a hook, and then we just want to go under the middle right here like this. Then what I'm going to do is just make a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain up one to secure it. And after that, we're just going to do the exact same thing, just slip stitch all the way down on this other bra cup right here. Okay, so just insert, find the corresponding, and slip stitch. So I'm going to finish up this other bra cup and I will meet you guys back at the end when it's all attached. Okay, I've reached the last stitch right there, so just make sure you get into the very last stitch. Then you're going to want to chain up one, grab your scissors and cut, and then pull through. And I would also make another knot on this to really secure it. So this is what we are looking at right now. And the only thing we have left to do besides weave in all of our ends is to make our straps. So we'll go and find that chain one at the top right there, right in the peak. And we will insert our hook grab our yarn and then we will pull through and make a knot and be sure to leave a little tail so that you can weave it in later. All right, and I'm just going to double knot this for extra security. Okay, so now we'll insert our hook back into that chain one. And all our strap is going to be is just a chain. So I'm going to make 250 chains for my strap because it's going to wrap around and across my back. All right, so we will bring up one. 
And when I start chaining, I want this strap to be tight, so the tension is going to be really tight as well. So I'm going to pull my pointer finger back tight while I'm chaining to achieve this effect. And as you can see, the chains are going to be a bit smaller too, which is why I had to chain up so many. So if you want this to be tight as well, just pull tight with your pointer finger while you're chaining up. So I'm going to finish chaining this strap up, and then I will do the exact same thing on the other bra cup. And once I'm all finished, I will come back and show you what our top looks like at the very end. Okay everyone, we are officially done with our little Valentine's Day top. And this is what these straps will look like. So let's flip it over really quick so you can see how I've done it up in the back here. Okay, so I just crisscrossed the top two straps, just like this, and then I went through the half double crochet spaces, not the actual stitches, but the spaces in between. And I just did one on the top, middle, and at the very bottom too. And that is it. I just really, really loved how this tulip stitch looks, and I think it looks even better on. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube by the end of this month, which I know is a hefty goal, but with your support, I think we can get there. And hopefully I'll be doing a giveaway in the coming weeks, so look out for that as well. Follow me over on Instagram for sneak peeks of each week's tutorials and to request ideas you'd like to see on upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.